Hey, you guys. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. So take what fits and leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home for you, just try a different message. We're going to start with the Animal Spirit Oracles, and then we're going to pull from the Light Seer's Tarot. See what's coming through for the collective today. Mm. Parrot Spirit, watch your words. You guys know that the energy, the frequencies, the Schumann resonance, all of it has been very intense lately. There are a lot of people that are getting upgrades um, back to back not a lot of space in between there's a lot of ascension symptoms that we're noticing even the planet itself is going through ascension symptoms so that shift into you know the 4d we're literally seeing it we're watching the earth shift into the new earth through the human resonance it's amazing i mentioned something to phase two about using this to our ability, using this for good, and wouldn't you know it, some stuff on that chart we've never seen before. Um, this is very real. Very real. Parrot, spirit, watch your words. 45, which is a 9. Wish fulfillment. Because the energy is so intense right now, what you're thinking, what you're saying, it's manifesting really fast. Be very careful what you're saying, what you're allowing yourself to receive as well. Somebody really likes watching horror movies. Um, I'm hearing something about like putting limitations on that can really ch change your situation in ways that you might not realize. Something about pulling back from the scare, from the fear energy in general. This isn't about facing your fears. It's not tempting yourself to be in that energy. If there's a movie that you know is karmic, don't watch it. If there's a song that's really toxic, don't be singing it when it comes on the radio. Maybe just turn the radio off for a minute. Change the station. Um, you have plenty of options, but watching the words, the verbiage... We still call it spelling. Spelling. We also still call it cursive. Um, I feel like this reading is going to be done in code right now, and that makes a lot of sense with all the downloads coming in. This is going to be one of those helping you guys make sense of all the little downloads that we've been receiving. Ant spirit. Yeah, time to collaborate. We're taking all these little pieces of the puzzle that we've been given and we're starting to put some of them together. I always start with the edges, the corners, and then work on the middle. I don't know how you guys puzzle, but I'm pretty sure that's just universal how to puzzle. These are all middle pieces. So you already have an idea of I can't just say the full picture because it's it's more than that. Let me start clarifying these before I yeah, get ahead of myself. I don't want to get ahead of myself. 10 of cups. Um, can we clarify Parrot Spirit a little bit, please? And thank you so much, Spirit. Only love and light is welcome here. Thank you. Three of Cups. Yeah, something's manifesting right before your eyes. Um, there's also something about alignment here. The planets and your birth chart are just aligned. A lot of things are coming together right now. I feel like blessings and faded. Oh, this is like serendipity. 
fated events, fated conversations are taking place. There's a meeting here. You're meeting someone. It's not going to seem like it at first, but this person is going to be around for a really long time. This could actually be a reconciliation. This could be re-meeting someone. I feel like it's yourself, though. A healed version of you. You're coming back to. Oh, did you lose bits and pieces of yourself along the way and now you're trying to find them and put them all back together? Yeah. Because we have the Four of Cups in the reverse. So we're no longer going to be disappointed in the things we've done. We are now going to be working on what we can. Doing what you can with what you've got. And just coming to peace with the past. Because just because you lost the race back in 2002 doesn't mean that you couldn't win it 2003, 2004, 2005, right? Something is a redo here, or a do over, or a try again. You didn't give up on yourself, even when others did. There could be something, someone coming back around. This someone new, though, I would pay more attention to that. If something's coming back around again, you're going to want to really keep your distance and see what it turns out to be before you're just, you know, fully open to the idea of reconciliation. There's something still wounded there. And it could just be because you two haven't actually talked about this. So the watch your words is here. Somebody's being very careful because they want to say exactly where they are and how they're feeling, but they're also not wanting to overstep boundaries. And it's not like constructive criticism or anything like that. It's somebody has to own what they did and it's really hard for them. And they don't want to come across as bitter because they've actually grown a lot. They've learned to appreciate the situation and they really do think that and maybe they're right about the work that they've done and now bumping into you after everything, it just almost feels like the universe is saying, hey, now you guys can be on the same page if both of you choose that because you still have free will. It could also just be a reminder of how much they have grown since then and maybe they need to forgive themselves a little bit. You don't even technically have to talk to them. It could just be them seeing you out in public, you glancing at them, making eye contact for a moment. You don't actually have to talk to each other for the event to do spiritually what it need, needs to do, what it's always meant to do to you and them. Meant to. That's the word that keeps wanting to come out. That was not the word I was putting in a sentence, though, so I, I stuttered there. For those of you that caught that. Um, this is also about the Three of Cups is about that faded moment. And the Four of Cups in reverse is like, we're just going to skip the ugly part. We're going to skip the bad part. We're, we're not going to have to experience that with this blessing is what it really feels like. It feels like a big blessing coming in. For some of you, it's already around. It just hasn't got to the good part yet. Like, it hasn't got to the blessing part. It's just the introduction. What's this ant spirit doing here? Time to collaborate. Talk about the puzzle pieces and the messages we're getting. So from the Nine of Swords to the Empress, that's literally from rags to riches. You're done singing sad, depressive, um, even angry music. It's about love. It's about healing. Oh my gosh, you guys. The amount of connected to the earth that you are.
there's something so powerful. I think you're fully aware of your darkness and just how much havoc you can really truly wreak on a situation. But you're also scared of that version of you because this is what you're also capable of and this is all you want to be is that loving unconditional I think it also really bothers you just how much ugly there really is on this rock on this planet and I think you actually break down and you cry because you're not just scared for people humankind you're scared for the actual planet mother earth you're scared for the animals you're scared oh my gosh see you're deep i like that it's right where you need to be see you're in the thick of it right <laughs> i think we all just heard the theme song when i said that and 99 we also have four four and the six of swords which just decided to still picked it up in the upright so she's still there this is you moving to calmer times that's what i'm seeing i feel like whoever's resonating with this message the worst is over i felt that instantly I wanted to cry. Woo! I told you, the energy is really intense right now. It is, though. The worst really is over. And I know it's tears of joy, but you need to cry those two. You need to get that. You need to give your thanks, your gratitude, because, oh my gosh, and you've really been through it, too. It's over now. You don't have to fight anymore. Now you get to relax. Now you get to enjoy the empire that you have built. Something doesn't want me to say this. Or someone around you is really hoping that you don't recognize the growth that you have done. There's the three six to go with the nine. I knew it was coming. Koi fish spirit, there is always enough. And look, eagle spirit, spirit has your back. You're not asking for too much. Some of you are not asking for enough and that's why it's not coming in. I know that sounds ridiculous to say, but I am so for fucking serious right now, guys. I am so serious. Sorry about my American there. You are always enough. Period. And if somebody can't see that in you, it's because they can't see it in themselves. People that really take care of themselves, people that really care about themselves... They can see that in others. People that have healed from depression can see right through the bullshit. Those are the people that can... There's so much truth to it. And it's, it's the difference between the two polarities here. You've been through it. Look at how ragged you are. Yes, you're coming into calmer times. But, like, look at what you've been through. It's so true. The people that have won depression, that have found it within themselves, that will to keep living, to keep fighting, to keep going, because it might not make sense now. It might not seem like anything now, but your life is worth so much. The people that laughed the hardest in a crowded room are also the ones that cry the most when no one's looking. That's true. We learned that through Robin Williams, the hard way. When somebody's faking a smile, but something's wrong, 
truly healed individuals can see it. They can tell. No one else in the room is aware. They're all oblivious. Doesn't matter. You can see it. Nah, really, though, what's wrong? I know something. To, I can tell. Don't lie. What is it? What's going on? Maybe I can help you. Now, some people aren't ready for that. That's okay. But when spirit comes to you and has that exact same request for you to tell them what's really, what do you really want? What do you really need? What are you truly, really worthy of? Don't be modest with your divinity. That's what I just heard. Owl spirit, you see clearly now? Don't be so modest. That was, that was profound. I can't explain to you how I, you probably felt it too, but that's what I was hearing. Don't be so modest with your divinity. Be loud and be proud because you might even be showing other people. This is how we do it. Yeah, you're not wrong though because this is how it's done. What is this eagle spirit? Spirit has your back. The six of wands and the moon. So, ah, oh, you know when the full card, when you're about to take the leap off of a mountain into the water below, the universe will catch you. Some of you, you took that leap of faith and you were caught by your own intuition. Like you knew you had faith Therefore, you have success, you have victory. This is also being recognized, not just by the divine, but by others too. This is being rewarded, gifted, congratulated. Mm. Ancestors holding up a glass to you. It's just water, but I mean, come on guys. You've gone within, you did the shadow work, Even though it was dark, it was scary. For some of you, it was very lonely. I'm hearing the word daunting. It was daunting. But you came back up. And when you surfaced, whoo! Looking like a goddess, all right? Or a god, right? <laughs> I just heard, was it a thirst trap? You guys, come on now. Back to koi fish spirit, though. There's always enough. I want to clarify that too. For whoever feels like you're running out of time, you're not. You're not. Yeah, the work you're doing, you are really, truly wrapping up cycles. Some of you are curse breakers. You are the black sheep in your family. Anytime you speak the facts, it's ostracize you, um, shun you, kick you out, push you out. Just, they can do horrible things to you, but how dare you do anything to them? Right? You were the black sheep. You were treated like crap. And it might not be your family that did this to you. It could be the friend group that did this to you. It could be a work environment that did this to you. We are always put in some interesting situations with some interesting people, right? And they teach us some interesting lessons. Your lesson was to overcome. Because these people saw your light. They saw you out here loving your compassion, your kindness. And they tried to shut you down because you were a threat. You shine so bright that they know their shadows, their demons, cannot stay hidden. Not from you. That's why they didn't like you voicing your opinion. That's why they shut you down. That's why they cut you out. That's why they didn't give you the invitation. Or sabotaged you or whatever it is, right? Maybe your job didn't tell you about the Christmas party or, you know, like it's all kinds of different. Wow, 33. Look at that. After the world card, which is 21, a three. The Empress is a three. The three of cups is also here. 
36, 23. We did get that 369 too. 43. Wow. Lots of threes. The Ascended Masters are absolutely working with you. Your ancestors are so proud of you. And they are, I just heard, we're, we've been rolling up our sleeves to help you get this done. Because you have a future. You have no idea what is in your future. You keep working with the universe. You keep mastering these lessons. You don't even know what's coming for you. You can feel it. You can absolutely feel it because you've been doing the work and you're like, I know that closing these doors is going to open up new opportunities. I'm mastering skills and I want to, you know, maybe share that a little bit. I do hear that there's a new project coming your way. For some of you, this is to occupy your time until the big one. Okay. That was not where I was going, but specific. I'm actually getting a situation that you are creating something. You're making something and you need to stop. You need to stop. Like you make candles, stock up. Because when you're ready to like share with the world, you're going to be sold out. Make sure you've got your boxes too, your shipping labels, your printer for that. Um, oh wow, this is so specific. I wouldn't even thought about something like that. Your prices also make reminders on your calendar to run sales at certain times of the year, specifically Mother's Day and the holidays. Anyways, the three of wands, like I said, you have no idea. You, your future is like, it's so bright. <laughs> it's so promising. And of course, there's going to be people that these entities can live through and feed off of. And they're going to try to, like, you know, deter you and lower your vibration with any kind of little digs that they can. It's not enough unless you let it be. Meaning, it's not going to get to you unless you revert back to your old ways and you allow it to get to you. I think you're at a point where you can... When people come at you in whatever kind of negative way they are, or situations they put you in, and, and you don't necessarily take it personally anymore. You really just kind of sit back and observe it. And I think you understand that some of these people, it is them. They really do want to stir the pot like that, but some of them... You can tell there's something else egging them to do it. There's there's some manipulation in the background with the strings going on, right? You can tell when somebody really truly means it and when somebody's kind of in a, in a position themselves. So you'll know if it's this person or if it's, again something else behind the scenes, someone else, something else. Because you know what it looks like to be in that divine, loving, genuine energy. You know what that's like. And when you're not receiving it from somebody else, your first thought is, oh my gosh, what happened? Right? Who hurt you? Your, your gut reaction is to help heal someone. Even when you are their target. Some of you are so focused on helping someone that you don't even see them lining up to, to get you in between the eyes or right in the nose or whatever it is, right? Somebody might actually have a, a target practice of some sort with a bullseye in your picture. That is some really, really black magic that will absolutely bite that person in the butt. Hard. Like, draw blood, kind of. Send you to the hospital, get some rabies shots. Hard. Don't do that. You're, we're at a level where 
I feel like you've told this person, don't do that, right? Like, you, you guys have... Either they know better or you've openly discussed something similar with them about somebody else doing it. Maybe you know that this person does that. They... It was somebody else's picture when they were telling you about it or when you saw them do it. Just so you know, it's now your picture. That's only going to resonate with like one person. So just don't <laughs> force that to fit. Uh, not something you really actually want. Don't force that to fit. But um, there was something else here. Sorry, I got distracted with that message. It was so pulling me in. Oh, I'm also hearing that, um, oh, shit. No, uh clarify, hold on a second, clarify that. Somebody had questions and actually booked a tarot reading and tried to get, basically somebody knows that you are chosen, somebody knows that you are not open for negotiating your energy is expensive and this person can't afford it <laughs> somebody tried to pay a practitioner to do something to you or get some kind of information on you and this practitioner told this person that they really need to reevaluate their own life decisions and spend a little more time focused on where they are right now and what they're doing than what somebody who's clearly minding their own business and just working on themselves is doing. You should just do the same. Like this, this reader, this practitioner wanted no parts. They immediately felt who you are. I'm not, I don't even think they pulled cards. If they did, they pulled a couple and they're like, I'm not saying nothing to this person other than have your money back. I'm not doing this reading or like there's something else we need to do with this. If you want me to help you with some kind of spiritual practice, some kind of work, we need to do work on you, not them. Like this practitioner was not about the bullshit. Um, they may have, tr they may have gone to somebody who, you know what I think happened? I think somebody Googled, oh my gosh, now we have a Google, Never mind. <clears throat> somebody did a little bit of research and they found a spell and they tried to do it and it backfired miserably. So now they're like, maybe I just need somebody that actually knows what they're doing because it's, it's too much time, effort to go shopping for all these things, wait for everything to come in, remember how it goes, get it right, pronounce it correctly, all that, all that, right? They're just going to pay somebody else to do it. Problem is, every time they seek someone out, this person immediately recognizes you and they're like, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that to myself. And I'm not going to condone assisting you in doing that to yourself. This person is very frustrated because no matter how many times they try to attack you, they're either turned down and nobody wants to work with them, nobody wants to help them with this, or they do it on their own and it backfires miserably. Like, this person is barking up a tree they really shouldn't be barking on. I think that every now and then you, you become aware of this, but you're not, again, you're, you're observing. Like, oh that person out of nowhere crossing my mind interesting anyways back to what I was doing you're just taking a little tiny note of it you're observing it you're not interacting with it you're not entertaining it you're not feeding into it it's almost like this person needs good energy to survive and somehow they know that but they're not trying to create this energy on their own they're trying to snatch it from you and they're asking all these other people that are like you to do this but that's not what people of light do i'm actually getting that there's a practitioner that was so 
thrown off and uncomfortable with this meeting, this discussion, this almost reading is what I'm hearing, um, that they are putting boundaries on this person. They are encapsulating this person in their own energy somehow so that this person can't reach out. It's almost like maybe they're seeking out these practitioners and they're sending emails, but all their emails are going to spam boxes or they're just not even sending because like it's a, it's not, that email's no longer in use where that phone number doesn't work anymore. Or it's like they have old information that's not relevant and it's really just a protection barrier because this person is very, um, ew. I just heard, like, they're so angry that it's almost like they're foaming at the mouth. Maybe somebody, um, I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. Somebody might be taking prescriptions. I don't know if they're necessarily prescribed to them or not, but if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Like, this person might actually foam in the quarters of their mouth. That's what I'm seeing right now. And it could be because of prescriptions. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You're just observing. You're just sitting back away from the situation. You've risen above it. And now you're just like, huh, interesting. And you're moving right along because you've got so much going on right now. You are in such a beautiful place. I think you're at peace and somebody just does not like that. Well, tough shit. You could be here too if only you were open to it, but you're not. So I can't even feel bad for you. I can't. I can't. I want to, but I can't. I know how to help you, but you won't let me. Therefore, I can't. 36, 36, 36, three times? Well, that's interesting. I'm also getting 43 and 45. I don't know if these are ages or what. Now I'm hearing from a young age. This could have been somebody that was supposed to be a parent to you or someone that was supposed to be a role model for you and they used their free will and chose to attack you instead. It's almost like they keep asking the universe for somebody to come help them and then the universe brings you in but then they treat you like that, like garbage. They tear you up in every way they can until you just kind of have to go and do your own thing. It's like they push you so many times and then act like the victim when you stop wanting to come around. This person is just toxic through and through and they can twist it any way they want, but you're karmic. That's karmic. Which is just unhealed. Well, we are all karmic to some extent, to be clear, but not all of us become bitter and decide to attack others about it. That's what this person is doing. And they don't want to be better. This is somebody that is very happy with being the bad guy. Because they're really good at covering it up. I'm hearing they're not working alone. Or there are other people that really do believe them. But none of these spiritual, truly healed people are going to fall for that. They're going to see right through it. The King of Swords already knows what the page is going to ask. And they know what the answer is. But it's, it's very much like the High Priestess. I'm not going to say more than I need to. I'm not going to get involved if I don't need to. And these are facing separate ways on my table. To be clear, somebody's walking a fine fucking line here. The more and more they dig, 
on you, pay attention to you, the less they're paying attention to their own surroundings. It's like they're going to try to set up a trap for you, not realizing that you're not coming around, and they're going to fall into their own trap here. So they're, they're walking a fine freaking line. I'm hearing somebody's spiritual gifts are about to be removed, like for good. There's a couple of things that can happen with that. I don't really want to get into it because, like, it's hard enough watching this person just be angry all the time at everyone, at everything, all the fucking time. It's hard enough watching them bite their own tail. We all know that this person is itching for a world of hurting if they don't knock it off. But, like, there's nothing we can do anymore. We've had to step away. We've had to. There could be somebody that was a part of this that feels really bad about how things played out. And they just don't want to be a part of the situation. Like, they don't want to beef with you anymore. I think somebody wants out. Especially if this is a family. If this is a family member that's being toxic like this, there's another family member. I'm hearing sibling. Could be a sibling. But they're they're seeing you. They're watching you. They're probably hearing all the plots and plans of this person, all the nasty things that they've said and all the people they've gotten to work together with them. And they like whoever this other person is, again, I, I think it's a sibling. They feel horribly for you. They feel really bad. So they're going to be reaching out here at some level, some extent. It's going to be small. At first, it will build. It will grow. But they're just really worried about the backlash because they are still very close with this toxic individual. They might live with them. They might work with them. They're somehow still very day-to-day -day interacting with this person, okay? But they have a conscience, and they do feel really bad that you've had to go through what you did. I think you've got support in places that you didn't realize, but you're about to find out. Yeah, because if it's this karmic person coming back, there's no way, no chance. The only reason they're coming back is because they need to be close to you to get to you because they can't get to you from a distance. They just cannot. And you, you cut them out for a very good reason. Keep it that way. I think you have put this behind you. Yes. You've put this behind you. I'm hearing, wow. Oh, it's that big, long spiel about the damage you've done is irreversible. And although I would love to make amends with you and I would love to see you be happy and healthy, the amount of time it would take for you to get there and the amount of damage that's going to take place in the meantime during that process is just too much for me to take on at this time. So I wish you well, but I need to move on. Like, it, it's one of those kind of conversations. Yeesh. You've made peace with this. You've moved on. That's why they're trying to make sense of this. But the only thing that makes sense is them having some kind of control. But they're not allowed anymore. You cut them off. I don't think this person understands what it means to hear the word no. Well, you're going to be the one to teach them what no really means. It's part of your mission here. It's part of your soul contract. You're claiming your throne. As you should. As the world needs you to. You are claiming your throne. And there are people that are seeing this. And it scares them. My cameras are going crazy right now. It is 111. Look at that. Yeah. 
people are conflicted. They are trying so hard to spy on you. They need some some information for their juicy gossip, their fucking smear campaigns, but they don't have anything. It's hard to hide success. They will eventually see that. But how do you talk shit about somebody being successful? Like, if people are going to partake in that conversation, that says everything we need to know about you. I don't really care. Have that conversation. But the other people in the room that are like, wait a minute. You're talking crap about somebody for being successful? For growing? For maturing? Sounds like they're doing really good, actually. awkward conversation those people though they see it and I think as this person continues and continues more and more people start to see it I think that's why somebody's like I don't want to be not necessarily on the wrong side of this but somebody doesn't want to have to choose so they're feeling conflicted but they're also very close with this person so it's like what do I do? How do I be friends with both of them without somebody being like some kind of way about it? Got that one curl. As it's all just air drying anyways. The high priestess. See, and you know that. You know that. That's why you're not expecting this person any day. I mean, it's, it's going to be on their time. And you know this. There's more coming in as well. That is not as clear at this time. But I think somebody sees you for you because they're also like you. You might not be the only chosen one in your family. There could be more than one. Somebody recognizes now that you've just been protecting yourself and somebody is also seeking protection. Also, somebody really misses you. The magician trying to create with you, trying to build with you, trying to learn from you. This could be somebody that you're also meant to teach. You guys might learn a lot from each other. You will absolutely learn a lot from each other. That's a lot of major arcana back to back. There is absolutely something here between these siblings. Eight of Wands. There will be communication, but give it time. All in divine timing. I feel like all the positivity that you're doing... The, the, for some of you guys, again, if this is family, the sacrifice that you made is not going to go unnoticed. It's not. People are going to know that was fucking hard, wasn't it? Yes, it was. You have respect from, from people that you might not realize it right now. But you will soon. We have 1, 10, and 11. So 11, 11. 1, 1, 1, 1. And we're ending with an 8. That's abundance. <sighs> Which comes in so many forms. Let me tell you guys what. There are blessings coming in, and they are coming in fast. There's also a new person, and with this new person comes opportunities that you don't want to miss. That's what I'm hearing. For some of you, it's going to be a lesson. For some, it's this person is going to introduce you to something also new, um, but highly motivational and very positive is what I'm hearing. There's a lot here. Be very, 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 very picky, choosy with 
your energy, who you allow in, who you're interacting with, 4455. Protect your energy. You got this. We got a lot of fixed energy on the board. Um, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. We also have some Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, and Pisces, of course. I'm going to leave it there. I hope. Oh, I said Pisces twice. Of course. Of course. I'm going to leave it right there. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.